Welcome back to Pad World, because this part is nothing but plot. Actually, also, no, playing it on a fight stick is pretty difficult, I bet. Yeah. Because, you know, uh, the opposite of... Okay, hey. I want to see Guitar Hero. I want to see Guitar Hero controller. Play this game, yep, on a Guitar Hero controller. All right, let's start off with a big question. What's your favorite stupid alternative way you've played a video game? I played uh, Super Mario 64 with with what with one of those wheels, uh, like with, with with one of those third party wheels that you plug into like the game. Yeah, PS2 I remember that. Whatever. Nice. <laughs> it didn't because uh, uh, you couldn't actually move forward, so the only way to move forward was to keep going left and right. Oh, that sounds great. That sounds <laughs> it was, awesome. It was amazing for like ten minutes, and then I got bored. I played Splatoon 2 with a GameCube controller. I'm trying to think about how that would have worked. It's, it doesn't. It's literally impossible. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think... No. That was going to say, I don't think I had anything. I mean, the closest thing that there is is just playing uh, using a controller for fighting games. Yeah, I played through Sonic 4 on a fight stick because I wanted to spice up Sonic 4 in any way possible. And I'm going to be real, I actually think that's my go-to way to play Sonic 4 now. It works really good. Hmm. I don't know if this counts as like, this isn't really weird, but I do remember uh, oh, a bit ago, uh, I was playing uh, an emulator of GoldenEye 64 with my brother, and we were using PS4 controllers, and we were like, uh, trying to play like the like traditional N64 layout on a PS4 controller was really weird, and it was like, what is like, when you're trying to play like a class, like a like a regular like PS3, PS4, FPS game with N64 controllers, and it's just, it just doesn't feel right. Yeah, nowadays, if you're gonna play GoldenEye, either play it on N64 or play the remake. Or find a mod that lets you change it to keyboard and mouse controls. <laughs> yeah. I know that people have done it with like Metroid Prime, and I've heard it breaks the game in half. But here I do I do have a question for the for this part is uh, what are your uh, like just overall opinions on platinum games and their kind of like just uh, each of their different uh, series and uh, just games in general and what you what you think about them? I think this is the only one I played so far. <laughs> Let me check. <laughs> I enjoyed everything I played of, the, of them, even Star Fox Zero. I'm not touching it again, but I enjoyed what I played. Uh, oh yeah, no, this was technically like under the Platinum Games. This was the first game under the Platinum Games name. Yeah, yeah. Mad World is Platinum Games' first ever game, and then if you want to tech, like the team was when they were Clover did Beautiful Joe and, Cl and, and Kami, Kami and such. Yeah. Yeah. yeah uh, speaking of Kami, I could see some of like the um, inspiration with this because some of the in a oh, Beautiful Joe, like something the art style of a Kami and Beautiful Joe is just a little bit similar. You could tell wow. by the inking. When they were just Clover Studios, they made four Beautiful Joe games, a Kami and God Hand. <laughs> yeah, no, Platinum is definitely one of my favorite game companies because they just do everything that pushes my buttons just right. Uh, just from everything, like, the way characters don't care about the world half the time. They're just, like, they're there. Um, the Anything involving, like, dope rivals it's just for me they're one of my favorite companies it's a damn shame none of their games ever sell they're yeah. they're very unique and crazy which is hard to sell a game like that didn't I think, didn't near automata sell well yeah near it automata was their first good selling game uh, and it was b mostly because if there's one thing Platinum doesn't do well, it's video game stories. Uh, they do good characters, but their stories are usually pretty vapid. Uh, so by having, you know, Yoko Taro write it and then Platinum do the gameplay, they kind of made the one of the most perfect video games. So Yeah, hey. which, I, which I was about to say, because yeah, it, it's good that, Nier, uh, the, that that game, which is pretty much their masterpiece, that uh, it's good that that's their most successful uh, product. Because, I mean, like, you got stuff like, like, Metal Gear, Ri Metal Gear Rising is probably my favorite, just because it's completely off-the-wall bonkers, so much fun. You got, like, ones that are, like, just really fun, like Vanquish and Wonderful 101, and then you have, like, the, eh, it's alright, like, Transformers Devastation. But then Nier is just, yeah, Nier is just everything, uh, like, just doing everything right. 
And then there's Bayonetta, which I've I need to play more Bayonetta because I played I played a bunch of both Bayonettas, but I need to play more of it. I need to play Bayonetta. Yep. <laughs> Bayonetta is like the first one is probably top five of my favorite video games of all time, and it comes down to it is the one of the few games to get escalation perfectly right because from like level four where you fight like a giant dragon boss you're like oh we're just going up from here huh and boy does it go up which is really good oh i love this i love this flash yeah yeah bang the drums you fight the sumo wrestler in his own game you just punch him right in well you don't you shoulder check him and it gets crazier and crazier from here <laughs> electric what? field uh, what do you think of their uh, their, uh, the, their 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 uh, licensed era? Just that that like those like two or three years where they just did the licensed games, I... like Transformers Devastation, Star Fox, and TMNT. I oh, mean, you gotta do what you need to do to get money. Yeah, was, uh, that's what it comes down to. It's sometimes you just need money. No, but, uh, thankfully... but I mean, like, I mean, I mean, just like what do you think of like the game, like their quality in in comparison to the rest of their products? Oh, they're yeah, definitely the quality worse. was mixed. It was yeah, they were. They it, it was really mixed. Some of the games were good. Some of the games were bad. Star I think the, likes, yeah. the only really bad one from what I've heard is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles one. Like that one, people say is legitimately a miss. Uh, but even like. Yeah, the rest of them I've heard are at least you know what they're they're Whoa. better than average licensed games. Yeah, if if Gareth was here, he would say that Transformers Dev like he 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 really likes Transformers Devastation and, and it, yeah. it is a legitimately good game. Yeah, Mutants in Manhattan like is he? I haven't played a lot of it, but I know he said that uh, he thinks it's like it's just a weaker version of what Devastation is. And then Star Fox Zero is a is a game that's kind of hindered a lot by outside. Um, it's hindered a lot by like it, it could have been much better if it wasn't for uh, certain things. That Wait, what happened? happened? Wait, what happened? What? Uh, the the game the game glitched <laughs> the animation. I forgot about that. Two helicopters. Also, I have never. I've only seen him chuck one helicopter per phase. I never seen him chuck five. He's really yeah. angry. Yeah, yeah there's an air show where nearby. Where are they getting these helicopters? People just keep trying to film it. They need someone to film the. Because it is a plot point that Jack is the most popular contestant so far. Yeah, so they, they got to they got to do their Hunger Games. They got to do their uh, so, Running Man. Yeah. So if hey, if they need so since they need someone to since they need to film all of Jack's fights, they got to keep bringing a helicopter. But this guy just keeps killing everyone. Also, I love the. I, mean, you, I, I love. They could just not get close. <laughs> I mean, they kind of have to. People like. Do you think like? the fifth guy who is like lined up to do helicopters is like man i'm not getting any work today and then when he sees the fourth guy go out he's like uh oh D did you die yeah i, <laughs> I missed it i looked away i got from blown I, I i got killed by the football but and then we, there, we also can't mention platinum and not also bring up the sadness that is scale bound Oh that. yeah, I'm, I was looking forward to that. I don't even have Xbox One. I was looking forward to that. Plat Platinum making a Panzer Dragoon game. Fucking yes. Pan Microsoft says no to the Panzer Dragoon game. Fucking no. I still think the reason it got canceled was because when they announced it, Hideki Kamiya came out on stage and they had little things on that conference saying what their favorite game was, and like every other employee was like Halo and like car game and madden and then here comes out kamiya at a microsoft conference and it says a link to the past <laughs> <laughs> you see i i would think that but then considering that microsoft had their deal with uh microsoft had their deal with a nintendo recently so well yeah yeah nowadays things are better but back in the day they weren't so friendly at yeah. least to the gamers' eyes, they were actually probably fine with each other. Oh, hey, Leah, what are you doing here? This guy, for like a second, look, when I first saw him, I thought he was Leon Kennedy. Thank you. Until I heard his voice, and I'm like, that's not Leon. Over here. Don't worry. If I was gonna kill you, I'd do it right out here. This game, look, this game actually is Resident contested. Evil. Uh, for the, 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 I about to say th this game would have been better. This would have been a better Resident Evil Five. I mean, you say that, but you realize what level, what the next area is. 
<laughs> His name is Leo. Oh, right, right. Yeah. <laughs> Zombies! Actually, I just realized, you don't get to use guns in this game, do you? No, you sometimes, do. Uh, sometimes. Well, uh, the you don't actually use guns, but you use them as finishers. Yeah, you use them yeah. as Jude. I like Jack as a character. Yeah, Jack, I, I love, because he, he's pretty much just Marv from Sin City, just the super, the super tough guy who doesn't take any shit from anybody, but, it, and he's like pretty much, and it's a, it's a plot point that he's pretty much nearly immortal. And it's also a plot point that he's like, you don't know much about him until, you know, as the game goes on. Because, yeah. I, I think you don't really know who he is until the fourth area. And then the yeah, he's yeah, he's pretty much a mystery. And then by the fifth area, you get the most famous line from him. This is also like a major plot point. Jefferson Island. Yeah, the, the, yeah, the, 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 that's why I said this is the plot. This is the plot part because it's pretty much just explaining. Okay, this is what's actually going on in the game. Like you just kind of had vague uh, illusions be get before, but now it's like, okay, here's the here's what the plot is. Yeah, they they legit were able to cap like keep an entire island, like pe people on the island trapped. I I, I buy it. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you buy it especially later on. When they fully explain how they were able to do all this, I challenge you to seize the day. Well, I mean, they just said they disabled everyone's cell phones, so no GPS. You're just done. Like, how do you know where to go anywhere? Oh gosh! If this happened like today, people like with how people, how much people need phones and stuff. Oh boy. <laughs> But also, you would believe it would happen today because they're like, we need entertainment. Haha. -ha. We need entertainment by letting everyone kill everything. You know, I, I, after seeing some of this stuff on like TLC for like reality shows, honestly, I think shows where people kill each other would be a marked improvement. Yeah, this is like. Yeah, this is pretty much like. Hunger Games style. We've dispersed a biological agent, a virus, across Jefferson Island. Everyone infected, which is all of you. Will oh, and they have that kind of whole virus thing where it's like, oh, you're infected with the virus. Okay, I'm back. My internet kind of shit my bed. <laughs> it, cool. it happens. <laughs> okay, what 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 time are we at? Thirteen. A one, oh two, oh three. Also, I like to point out how realistic like this is, because most other times when they're like, "Oh, a virus has infected you, you all die in like 24 hours," everyone dies in like 24 hours. And in, in this in this game, they point out like, "Hey, the virus will affect certain people differently," and that's more realistic in real world, because you know not everyone's gonna have the same kind of health. Also, he, uh, here's a, here's a fun fact uh, about Leo's voice. Uh, Leo is voiced by Montana Max from Tiny Toon. Oh my goodness! That's I think he all. I think he's also he's also uh, I think he's also Kick Batowski's brother in that series. Uh, and he's uh, and, oh, and, and and he's uh, he's Dave the Barbarian. Really? Okay, that's one I know. I was gonna say you're oh, saying yeah. all these ones, and I'm like, I don't know who that. Yeah, of course I know Dave the Barbarian. <laughs> I'm trying to actually like. I can hear uh, the Kick Patowski's brother. Like I can hear it. So. Yeah, the game. The game as a whole has a pretty cool like voice cast. It's got yeah. It's it's got Charlie Adler. It's it's got Roger Jackson. It's got Hey K Higgins, Cali Bear. Why haven't they sent anyone? Got Nolan North as always. John the Oh okay okay N now okay. Leo's actually uh, a playable character in the second scenario in Aki Reigns. Okay, I knew something was like off. Okay now I okay now I really need to 
actually get because Anarchy Reigns is the one like Mad World game I like I haven't played at all, and I like I, I had no interest in it at all. But now like just through this commentary, I find out that oh, it's actually a sequel to Mad World. So I'm like oh, maybe it's I should a, play it's it. A sequel? It's not really a sequel. It's not a sequel, more like a s alternate universe, built a successor kind of thing. Hmm. I mean, it's still well, it'd probably be a worth investment. See, uh, Anarchy Reigns is weird because it's sort of like, because we got all the um, Mad World characters, you got Bayonetta, and you got like ones that are kind of like other Platinum characters. So it's kind of like Platinum Smash Bros, except none of them are really Platinum characters. So it's a bit weird. They should have waited oh. like a decade and it would have been way better. Also, this is, a, this is Mad oh. Castle. Yeah, I hate yeah. this. I hate this. Ugh, this is a stupid so challenge. I actually love. I actually love this stage. This is actually my favorite stage. Like the stage, <laughs> I just hate that stupid challenge. I spent like I spent two different times retrying the stage because of the freaking challenge. Uh, yeah, the the actual level is going to be in the next part just because of the way the editing uh, worked up. I ended up putting up all the cutscenes together, so it's like, oh yeah, this part ended up being just nothing but cut cutscenes in one boss. And also, yeah, Anarchy Reigns is their third game after Mad World, Bayonetta, and Vanquish. So it's like basically, I think they did that because they're like, we have no idea if we're going to do any more games, so let's just do this now. Because I think, because yeah, because that was their last game uh, uh, during their Sega deal. So that might have been why, but then, but then Konami snatched them up for Metal Gear, and Nintendo snatched them up for Wonderful 101 and Bayonetta 2. They kept and then, uh, <laughs> the legacy then, holds yes, off yeah. pretty much. And now they're owned by a Chinese mega corporation. I'm sure everything will be fine. <laughs> probably will be fine. It's probably just oh, they just give them money. Yeah, because I mean, just if you make sure there's like no more atmosphere. skeletons, can't have those skeletons in those games. I mean. Because I was gonna say this is we're talking about Platinum. They they were able to survive with their first three games. Because they were able they were able to survive the Legend of Korra. They'll be fine. Because when you think about it, even with this, like with the first three like games as Platinum, Bayonetta was super successful. Mad World, I'm assuming, was how how well did? It? Well, I, I I thought Mad I thought Bayonetta was like well, Mad World just did like decently. It like it did well, just wasn't like a huge hit. Same with Vanquish. Yeah. I know Vanquish was just a decent hit. I know Bayonetta Bayonetta I think was a hit, but like not as much as they wanted. Yeah. yeah. Oh, their games, like I said, the joke is that Platinum makes the best games. That never sell because they truly don't sell anything amazing like the only one that sold well as we said was the near automata there uh but they're always received critically well i mean uh okami has the the you know the the wonderful moniker of the worst selling game of the year by <laughs> guinness world records so put that on a page uh True. let's see it sold total uh 0.78 million so it sold okay. Um, yeah. Oh, and uh, Ban I think Bayonetta 2 sold well, but it was also on the Wii U. So it, like, it sold well for the Wii U. So it's like, it's a little bit of column A, a little bit of column B. Like a tank, hit like a tank. Now 